Hello everybody, it's a gamer here. This is episode one of uh, the uh, advanced modding tutorial. And we're going to be going over setup. So if you guys don't know the setup for the Java, uh, please refer back to the 1.9 setup video. Uh, it'll work uh, for the Java. So yeah, uh, this advanced modding tutorial, uh, we are going to be going over RF generators. We are going to be going over custom furnaces, chests, um, adding in RF, well, like I said, RF generators, RF storage, RF... Uh, God, what else? RF. Uh, just a bunch of RF stuff. And we're going to be going and downloading some APIs right now. So one of the first things, I'm going to open up my browser. And one of the first things that I want to get is the T the uh, COF API. Now, the same thing goes for the um, Forge setup and the Eclipse setup. Just refer back to that video. The next one I want to get is the Ender IO. Uh, uh, bleh, API. So I'm gonna go to downloads and teamcof.com. Come down here to Kof Lib. I'm gonna download the latest. Okay, and it's gonna download as a jar, so that, that, that's okay. Uh, let's see. We're going. I'm going to save it in to the desktop right here got it right there going to mod development 194 and as you guys can see this is the one I'm going to be currently working on anyway we're going to come in here and this is one it's going to be required for my mods anyway uh, let's see we're going to a new folder and we're going to call this I don't know uh, I'm not going to call it tutorial mod because this mod will actually be released so we're going to call it I don't know what should I call it. Um, F two to rename it. Uh, let's see. Who's about Cummins Tech? Uh, I'm just gonna call it Electrocraft. All right. Enter. All right, so I'm going to minimize that. I'm actually going to close that. I come back up here. The Kof uh, lib is now done downloading, so I'm going to come in here to citerig.com. Uh, as you guys can see, that's right up there. That's the one you want to go to. I'm going to come over here to Ender.io 194, and I'm going to download the API jar. And again, I'm going to save it to desktop. The next thing I want to do. And the Git, I have a thing for GitHub repo, so I'm gonna go to the Buildcraft repo on GitHub, and I am going to go to branch ones. Had to cough. Didn't want to blow you guys' ears out. And 8.0. I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna come into Buildcraft API, and the API in here, actually, oops, and clone or download. Just gonna click download zip. So it's gonna download a zip file, and gonna save it again to desktop. And the next thing I'm gonna get is the latest forge for this mod. So yeah, this will be. Uh, See, let's go 194. I'm going to download the latest MDK, and I'm actually going to come down here, and I'm actually going to uh, go straight to direct download. So just go straight to desktop. But in fact, I'm actually going to come into mod development 194, and I'm going to put it in Forge Source. I'm going to save it. As soon as that's done downloading, going to close that. All right. So we got uh, the Coflib. Buildcraft API and Ender.io API. All right, sick. Uh, next thing, gonna whoa, come back into here, and I'm gonna come back into 194 projects and then Forge Source, and I'm going to right-click on this, 
and I'm going to extract to forge 194, 1918, 194, and it's just going to extract. And did it would appear not extract. There we go. I'm actually going to come in here. I'm going to copy everything in there. Come back to 19 projects, mods, electrocraft, and I'm going to paste everything in here. Now, this is uh, how you put in APIs. It's a little bit different. Uh, come into source, main. Actually, let me look into here. It's in source, and it's in a in source as API. So we're going to go new folder. If it'll ever load. Do do do. There we go. And then the API is where you put. Uh, Whoa, what is doing? Whoa. Okay, it is where you put all of the APIs that you're in, you install. So I'm going to crack open the Ender IO. I'm going to open Archive. And it is most likely going to be Crazy Pants, the Crazy Pants one. So I'm just going to copy that into there. And it now. Come on. You can do it. Crazy pants. So we got that in there. Next thing to open is the Kof API, which actually, thinking about it, we don't need. So I'm going to recycle that. All you really need is the Buildcraft API. So I'm going to open that. Come into here, come into API, and you it comes with the uh, Kof API. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy it in there. And uh, yeah, there we go. It's going to copy everything. Uh, give it a sec. It's going to take a minute. Come on. It's going to do it. And refresh. And we now have Buildcraft, the Buildcraft API, the Kof API, and the Ender IO API installed. So I'm going to minimize that. Or actually, I shouldn't have exited out of that. I'm going to move these over here. I'm going to put that there. And actually, I'm going to, one last thing, actually, why not? I'm going to get the forestry API, and we're going to put that in as well. Actually, it's not going to work because forestry 5 is not on 194 yet, and that's the mod, the version we're doing this for. Okay, so come back into mod development. I'm going to come back into 194 projects, mods, electrocraft, and I'm just going to click right there. I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go control, I believe it is control C. No, no, control alt C. Screw it. Open command window here. Shift right click. I'm going to go change directory. I'm going to paste that in there. We're going to go gradle W, setup decomp workspace eclipse. Enter. Now I'll be back as soon as this is done. And we are in the modding environment and I'll show you guys what to do from there. I actually want to show you guys one quick thing real quick. Uh, I'm going to come into here. I'm going to go into 194 projects and then Steve's engineering. When you have the folder run and then you come in here to mods, um, I'm actually going to copy these. I'm going to paste these out here. Move those there. And then in your folder, I'm actually going to create a folder and I'm going to call it run. Open that. And this is how. And then mods. Enter. And in here. Um, with JEI, I just downloaded it. There's no development version really. However, I did go and grab the Ender IO. Uh, uh, versions, uh, dev development versions that you put into a, a an Eclipse or IntelliJ and uh, modding environment. So I grabbed those, and I'm just going to bring those into here. And what this will do when you load up the game is you'll actually have access to these mods. So really cool. And uh, let's see. 
yeah there's that and i will be back as soon as this is done and it is actually going pretty fast so yeah be right back i'm back it's uh finally done so i'm going to close that and uh, next thing we need to do is need to launch eclipse to get into uh the modding environment in which i will show you guys um 194 projects lecture craft and make sure when you mod, uh, navigate to your mod that you go into the eclipse portion of it I'm gonna open that and yep so um, when this launches we're gonna have to edit a couple of things in the uh, program no no it's one of those things it's uh in shroom thing it's in fuck it, it's it's something that uh we have to go in and edit uh to lo load our apis and i'm just going to maximize this and i'm actually going to Close task list, outline, problems. I just like to have as much coding space as possible. And it lags. Nothing new. Well, at least when I record. I'm going to go do that. I'm going to rename that to Electra Craft. 1.9.4 Sorry about that. Anyway, we're going to open this and source main Java. Now real quick, I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm just going to go new. I'm just going to go net.electracraft. Mod, and we're just going to call this Electrocraft. We're not going to do anything with the class, I just needed to do that. Now, whenever it opens, I'm actually going to go to Package Presentation and I'm going to go to Hierarchical. Now, you're going to want to click on the Source Main Java thing and right click. And we're going to go to build path. We're going to configure build path. All right. So in here, in, in this, we, uh, we're going to have to add a folder. So in here, you'll see that you have all of these things. So what I'm going to click on is the checkbox for API, and it's going to show all of these. So I'm just going to click OK. And it's going to give us the API in one second as soon as I hit apply. As you guys notice, it uh, shows source. Whoa, sorry about that. So source slash API. I'm going to click OK. And if we open it, we'll have everything. And then Kof, just to show you guys that it works, I'm going to go to Crazy Pants. Why is it? Uh, what? Hmm. So I have to, uh, interesting. Very interesting. However, I'm just going to close that for the moment. And in here, I'm just going to go, I don't know, I energy storage. And you'll see that you got receive energy, extract energy, get energy stored, get max energy stored. I mean, this is all the RF stuff that we need. So, I mean, you got the thing for, you know, your energy stuff. So, yeah. And yeah, it is, an, it is RF. I don't know what causes it to do RF. Um... Does it have something to do in here? 
I don't know, but I know it does RF, and how it does it, I don't know. This says version 189. Hmm. But it does work. Um, I'm currently working on getting this stuff uh, panned out. I'm actually going to delete the crazy pants, the cofape, or the Ender IO API, because I only really want. Um, the build craft and the cof API because in these I can use the pipes uh, where is it pipes is in here isn't it or is it in blocks well I can use this and I can uh, use the uh, API to code engines and blocks and yeah I'm gonna be watching tutorials on this stuff because I'm new to this too but as soon as I get this stuff figured out We'll be going over this, so I just figured I'd get this uh, video, at least the setup aspect of it, and the, this the, this series will be coming out. It's going to be slow series, because I'll be learning stuff on my own, and yeah, we're going to be going over not just RF uh, electrical stuff like RF, um, but we'll also be going over tile entities for storage, uh, possibly even... Um, Uh, ent entities like mobs and just a whole bunch of cool stuff so yeah you see data electrocraft data so yep uh, I'm gonna leave you guys there and uh, yeah well uh, we'll be going over some of the stuff in this uh, like the strings and whatnot and We'll be going over proxies too because I figured out how to do that and I actually prefer proxies because then it doesn't clutter this class, the main class. So yeah, um, please comment, subscribe for more. Uh, love to see this channel grow so please comment and subs well, yeah, comment, subscribe, do what you want to do. Help this channel grow. Uh, we, this I plan on this series being pretty long so yeah. Hope you all have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all later.